Hello there, YouTube friends. Some people report problems that their MacBook cannot detect the NVMe SSD. I think this is because you're not doing it right. In this video, I will talk about the best practice of having Mac OS installed after SSD upgrade. Without further ado, let's get started. Other YouTube tutorials are either too complicated or too time consuming. That's why I made this video. There are two types of macOS installation, a clean installation or restore from a previous backup. A clean installation is relatively easy and requires the following four steps. Following this exact procedure can guarantee that your NVMe SSD will be successfully recognized. Feel free to pause the video and read the instructions. The key is to install macOS when the NVMe SSD is connected as a USB drive, then swap the two SSD. I will skip the first step which is download macOS Catliner installer and you need to also purchase an NVMe SSD enclosure. It can be either USB 3.1 or Thunderbolt 3. After that, connect the NVMe SSD to your MacBook using the external enclosure, and your first step will be erase the NVMe SSD and select the APFS file format. You wait for a while, until the erasing process is done. Then you can click or double click or launch the uh, macOS installer process. A more practical approach is to transfer data from your old uh, Mac drive to your new NVMe drive. Here are the steps I find to be most efficient and error-proof. Besides downloading macOS installer and purchase an NVMe SSD enclosure, you also need to create a USB macOS installer. Any USB 3.0 or 3.1 drive larger than 16 GB is suitable for this task. Once your USB drive is attached, use the link in the description to download the install disk creator and launch this application. Here, you need to first uh, select the uh, Mac OS Catliner installer. Then select your 16 gigabyte USB drive to become the installer. Please note that this is not your NVMe enclosure. Once your USB installer is ready, we need to boot from the USB installer, which can be achieved by hold down the Option key during the boot and then select the USB installer. Then you need to wait very patiently for a couple of minutes until you see the macOS utilities. Then follow these steps, you'll be able to clone data from the old drive to the new drive. What you can do is you click the Disk Utility tool And here, you will find actually three disks. Here is internal Macintosh HD. Here is external um, SSD. I'm currently using the uh, WD uh, 2242 NVMe. And this is a USB um, bootable drive, okay? So what I can do is instead of using Time Machine to transfer my data, I alternatively 
um, I can select the uh, NVMe SSD and then I select restore. Make sure the new SSD is at least the same size as the, as the old SSD or bigger. Then I can select um, restore from. This is the original SSD. Then click restore. And this process will probably maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes ish, but, but way faster than the time machine approach. Once the cloning process is done, now you can safely power off your machine and replace your original SSD with the NVMe SSD. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.